just uh, a few words about how we see things going today. I actually am surprised, I will tell you, that we don't have many more people in the room today. With all the announcements that I saw flying around the internet, I expected we were going to have a, uh, a much fuller house than, uh, than we have. Uh, that's for that reason we had arranged for an overflow room and also had a uh, had a time clock. I don't think either of those are going to be necessary as it happens, and that's a, that's a good thing. Uh, I would ask, though, that uh, just because there isn't a time clock running, uh, we keep our testimony as brief as possible. Um, this is a public hearing, which is an opportunity for the, uh, for the committee to gather uh, public input on a piece of legislation. Uh, and I think this one, uh, this hearing today is um, of particular interest because there's been a lot of publicity associated with the uh, with the main uh, state housing authority with, with Misha, and uh, and for that reason uh, it tends to be a somewhat emotional issue. Uh, under the circumstances, I'm going to ask that we keep this uh, meeting as respectful as possible. That uh, we bear in mind that this uh, all testimony today is about the content of this bill. And that is to say, this is about the governance of the organization of Maine Housing. It is not about many other issues that you may have read about in the paper, having to do with donations that Maine Housing may have made, or uh, the cost of housing units, or any of those things. Those will be considered out of order and not, not germane to the discussion we're having today. So if you've included those things in your testimony, you might strike them now before you come up to the uh, podium because they won't be considered germane. And I would say the same is true for uh, comments about uh, specific individuals and the roles that they uh, that they play. This is not a uh, this is not a discussion about the current uh, director or previous directors. This is about the governance structure and how the organization uh, how the organization operates. So that's going to be important 